Welcome to the New South Wales Globe tutorial series. In this video, we'll explain how to add data to New South Wales Globe and use a variety of inbuilt tools to make the most of the information available. You should already have Google Earth and New South Wales Globe installed on your computer. If not, see tutorial 1, The Basics. One of the great things about New South Wales Globe is that you can view historical imagery from Sydney and its surrounds and compare it to the modern day area. As well as turning the layer on and off, an easy way to compare the two time periods is to use the opacity slider. Select the Adjust Opacity symbol on the sidebar and slide it backwards and forwards to view the changes. Measuring the distance between two places in Google Earth is very easy. First, click on the ruler symbol in the toolbar. The pop-up window gives you the choice of measuring between a series of points or just two points. To measure a simple line, make sure the Line tab is selected, then click on the map on your start point and end point. Click the Start and then click again for the finish. If you have mouse navigation activated, then you can click and drag using both the mouse and keyboard spacebar to reposition the map. The results are displayed in the pop-up window, which helpfully lets you choose from a number of different measurement units. To remove the line from the screen, just press Clear. Measuring a path is very similar. Click on the Path tab, then click multiple points on the map for a path you want to follow. For example, measuring a journey along a road. You can also alter the locations of the points you have already set by clicking and dragging over the point. Save a line or a path by clicking the Save button. Here you can choose a name for it, and also change the style and colour if you wish. Once saved, this appears under Places on the left hand side. The next tool to show you is the Elevation Profile, which allows you to see the height and slope profile of the land between two or more points. First, draw a line or path between two or more points of interest, then save the path. We'll use the one we've just made. Go to Edit and Show Elevation Profile. This gives you a cross section of the planet underneath the line. Simply move the mouse across the profile to see the elevation and slope at each point. A large arrow over the line on the main map shows you exactly what point you're looking at. You can also click and drag a section of the profile to get stats specific to that section. The Record a Tour function is a fun and compelling way to create short videos of flyovers around or between places. To record a very simple tour, click on the video camera icon in the top toolbar. This opens a small recording panel at the bottom of the screen. Click the Record button to begin recording. Use the mouse to navigate around. Right click and drag to zoom in and out. Use the scroll button in the centre of the mouse to change the angle of view. Or left click and drag to pan to a different location. When you finish recording your tour, click the record button again to stop recording and Google Earth will automatically begin playing back your tour. You can also fast forward, rewind, put on repeat and save. To get rid of the video, simply click the cross in the corner. There is in fact a variety of different ways to create these flyovers in Google Earth. Here we'll show you another way where you can fly between a number of locations. Firstly, you need to pre-save these locations as places which will appear in the left hand places pane. Then search for the location you want to include. New South Wales Globe gives you the option to search by suburb, address lot POI property, as well as the Google search. Once you've zoomed to your location, go to Add, Placemark in the toolbar. You can choose a name, style the placemark, and then move the pin into place if necessary. When you've added all the places you want, move to your start location and start recording. Then double click on your list of places to move between them. New South Wales Globe has a huge amount of useful data itself, but you can also show other information alongside it, either your own or downloaded from the internet. This can include point, line or area data in KML or KMZ files. Here we're going to look at a KMZ file that shows the local government boundaries in New South Wales. Once you have the KML or KMZ file saved on your computer, go to File, Open. Check the file type as Google Earth, Navigate to your file's location and open it. It is also possible to bring in other types of files including GPS data and photos. We haven't gone through all the available tools in this video, but it should give you a good idea of what can be achieved with this fantastic data resource. 
Other tools that are fairly self-explanatory are emailing, printing, saving an image, and viewing it in Google Maps. So, that brings us to the end of this tutorial video. You should now have a good understanding of how to best utilize the New South Wales Globe data. For help and further assistance, visit Land and Property Information's New South Wales Globe webpage.